Hello. <laughs> I don't know. Oh man. Oh, sorry, Parker. I freaked her out there. Um, yeah, it happens. <laughs> I filmed like uh, six of these things so far. So she's just looking at me like, girl, what are you doing? Come play with me. But I can't because I have to talk to you guys about the Sailor Compass 1911 fountain pen. This bad boy retails for about 40 US dollars. US doll hairs. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and I got the brown version. There are many different colors that you can get, but I am a sucker for uh, warmer tones. Uh, I like them quite a bit, um, just like this guy here. Um, anything along this, especially with my inks. Magnifique. Love it. Had to get it. <laughs> so I picked this one up because I was intrigued. Sailor is a very expensive brand uh, and I have mixed feelings about their pricing strategies. Uh, but this is one of their like entry level pens. I kind of feel like it's the equivalent or their opinion sort of of like a Platinum Preppy, Profonte, things like that. But for 40 bucks, it's certainly more expensive. Um, Cause I mean, the Profonte is 10, the Preppy is like five um, US pricing. But regardless, what is this pen? So this is their 1911 Compass. So it's a very similar body style to their regular 1911, which is a gold nib pen. Uh, this is on the slimmer side. Um, I don't own a 1911 um, slim or just regular 1911. So I don't know if it's the exact same size, uh, but it is smaller uh, than the large version. So I would imagine it's pretty darn close. It is a torpedo shape fountain pen, which I don't love. I do prefer the um, Pro Gear, but I know a lot of people prefer the 1911 style. Uh, so this is all translucent brown uh, with silver trim here. Fairly loose clip, but does what it needs to. To be honest, I don't really use the clips. They're just kind of roll stops to me. Um, it is semi-transparent uh, and there's nothing really on it except for this trim ring, which says made in Japan, sailor, pretty standard, um, nothing too fancy, tapers down. Actually, let's two and a quarter turns to get the uh, cap off of the pen. Uh, it is a very light pen, very short pen, very small pen. Uh, so I do post this. It is one of the very few pens that I have that I actually post, uh, but it needs to be done. Uh, it adds a little bit more weight and of course length. Uh, I do not think that most people will find this comfortable to use unposted. Um, so <clears throat> I do. The grip section uh, is short. Um, it's just like this guy here. Uh, you do feel the threads a little bit when you hold it, um, but they're they're not sharp. They're not obtrusive or anything like that. Um, they're just there. Um, not bad. Nothing to write home about, but not bad. Then you get a steel nib with a anchor in the middle and a completely demo clear feed, uh, which is kind of cool. It, it's it's cool. You don't see that on, on most. Um, so one of the things that does kind of rocket the price to that $40 uh, limit is that it does come with a matching colored converter, uh, which is cool. That's something that the Preppy, Profonte, whatever's don't do. Um, and to be honest, their converters, uh, like the Preppy and um, Profonte, like the platinum converters are like 10 bucks each. So effectively it would double uh, the cost of the Profonte. Um, so uh, that can bring the price up a little bit. The fact that this is included um, and the um, twisting knob here will change the color to match whatever pen you purchased. <sighs> that is a long time to, to get that on, but you can, you can eyedropper convert this, I believe. I have not tested it. Uh, I don't know if I would only because there is a slight thing here, um, but it is something that you can play around with if you choose to do so. Um, 
the nib was fine out of the box. It comes with a medium fine nib. You have no choice with that. It is what it is. Um, it was fine. It was fine. Um, you'll see in the writing section in a, writing section, writing sample in a minute. Uh, to be honest, before we even get into that, because I know you're all going to wonder, is something like this worth uh, four times the cost of a Profonte? More than four times the cost of a Preppy? To be blatantly honest, no, it's not. Um, I would not recommend this, to be honest. It's a fine pen. There's nothing wrong with it. But I prefer the Platinum Preppy and Profonte. These write better than this. Oh no! So let's check that out. Okay, uh, Quick Brown Fox jumps over the lazy dog. The ink for today is uh, Colorverse Coffee Break, uh, medium fine Sailor Steel nib. Uh, even though this says medium fine, it writes like a extra fine. Um, I have used medium fine nibs in Sailor's Gold nibs, um, and they are broader than this. So this is definitely on the fine side. It is not a super wet writer. Uh, in fact, it's a little on the dry side. It's not unusably dry, um, but it is definitely on the drier side. Um, no real line variation to be had. You can definitely reverse write no problem, but it doesn't really change anything. It just makes it drier. I've uh, never had any problems with it, hard starting or skipping. So basically, uh, the nib works. The nib does what it's supposed to do. It's a pen, it writes, it's great, but um, nothing special about it. Um, for, you know, 40 US smacks, uh, to be honest, I prefer the Platinum Preppy uh, or the Profonte uh, over this. You essentially, in my opinion anyways, which I guess is why you're here, uh, get a better writing experience out of those than you do with this one. Um, so thanks for watching. <laughs> Nothing much more to say. Uh, thanks for watching and I appreciate it. If you like this, hit that like button. If you uh, like it a lot but haven't done so already, do hit that subscribe. New videos come out every Monday and Friday and the occasional Q&A on Tuesday. Guys, I appreciate you watching as always and I will see you next time. Bye.